today and for, for many decades to come. I'll start, first of all, by thanking Jim for his leadership on this project. He was absolutely instrumental in driving this project to ensure that it happened and bringing all the partners together, working with city staff, working with uh, the development community, working with fellow councillors, and the community, most of all, reaching out into the community that he's been such an integral part of for so many years, understanding sensitivities, bringing those to the table, empowering the voices of this community to make sure that this project is as inclusive as humanly possible, and that the project happens. And that's fundamentally critical here, is that we actually make progress and we take action. We've seen three years under the NPA government where action was not commissioned where three years were spent talking about eco-density, while a project initiated by the previous council, Hope and Vision Council, and the leadership of Jim Green, was, was taking action, was actually taking root here and being built. And these are the kind of projects that we want to take action on over these next years. Over this next term of government, I will be working as mayor to fast track a project like this that are inclusive, that have affordable housing, included in them that bring together elements of the community and the support of the community, making sure that city staff and the community are working in sync to have projects like this fast track and get built so that we can create the kind of housing that we need in the city for the people who live and work in Vancouver right now and the generations to come. I will uh, recognize, again, the people who are here from the community to enable the whole crew here. We're proud to be here uh, standing with you recognize you all for the work that you've done and contributed to making this project happen and really lay the, lay the tracks and the foundation provided this the vision that I want to carry forward and implement much more urgently than we've seen over the last three years. We have a, a creative use of mixed development here that needs to take place across Vancouver and really it's a testament to the brilliance not only of the community and the drivers, but also the city staff, who do play a critical role in this. And uh, we need to bring that forward. I mean, city staff is a kind of challenge we working with the current NPA Dominated Council, and uh, we need to unleash their creative potential and their desire to make things happen for the city of Vancouver. This is an example of a mega project gone right, and certainly uh, in, in light of the news this week about the other uh, million square foot development that's taking place on Falls Creek and the many, many questions and rumors that are circulating about its progress, which need to be dealt with, which need to be answered in a public and open way. Great contrast here between a project that brought everyone together and is fulfilling the vision of the community and the leaders who brought this together. We saw a very different picture at the Olympic Village site and Falls Creek site where the NPA Council changed the entire nature of the project at a critical time and has set it on a course that has been challenging since then and uh, as, as of today many questions need to be answered and taxpayers' concerns need to be addressed so that this project on the, on the shores of Falls Creek can get completed on time and make sense for the people of Vancouver. So I'll just close by saying it is uh, a critical time. We look at these days ahead, people are trying to make their decisions about yeah. who their next mayor is, who their next yeah. council is and what kind of vision they want to carry out for Vancouver. It's an honor to stand here and have a, a metaphor for what we see as Vancouver's future, the kind of development and growth that we want to embrace here, the kind of leadership that it took to bring it into being. And I want to just uh, draw on this to, to set that to set that tone and say the decision is huge on Saturday, calling on the people of Vancouver to make the right choice and support a vision majority working with Pope and the Green Party and myself as mayor so that we can jump on projects like this and make progress for the people of Vancouver and ensure that we're dealing with the homelessness crisis that we have, the affordable housing shortage that is, that is gripping the city and that we're actually working with the neighborhoods to make sure that these challenges are met by win-win solutions that make sense for everyone. So I'm urging everyone to make a clean break from the NPA-led council who have not gotten the job done for the last three years and bring on the future of Vancouver and empower the people of Vancouver to do the growth that we need to do properly, to bring voice to the people of Vancouver who want to see change 
I look forward to having that opportunity on Saturday's vote. I would like to now introduce, thank you, now introduce the maestro of this project, the man who, who has so much vision to bring it into reality here, that is Gregory Enriquez. so many levels, but in another way, it is a model for inclusivity, it is a model for the future of the world of Vancouver. We're so proud to be able to a part of this and have worked with the community and the home of the reality. What you see before you is the largest single site project in the history of Vancouver, the most complex mixed use program in the world of includes 500 units of dark housing, 200 units of safety housing, SSU Center for Contemporary Arts, and retail, with the aesthetic. So what we really have is a merging of the poetic and the ethical and the, and the project, which is truly really unique. What you see in front of you is just one representation of it, is the green screen of the uh, large W tower. These screens allow us to get the uh, air conditioning from the, uh, from the tower. We can provide uh, solar shading in the, in, the sun, in the summer, and then we'll lose the region and we'll lose the light from it. The entire project is on a lead silver and leather, and we're very proud of the accomplishments and using hot water, steam heat for the entire site. It's a quite unique thing to this And in closing, I'd just like to say that I, I believe that this has been a team effort which could have happened without the leadership of uh, Jim Green and behind us. And we hope this has become a model for the future and a way in which they did can develop with the community involvement in the forefront but also making sure that there is a high rate of uh, uh, market and non-market housing in every project. Thank you. Thank you. 